In a previous video, I demonstrated the sublet computer architecture, uh, an architecture that only has one instruction, sublet. Uh, the instruction stands for subtract, subtract and branch if less than equal to zero. Uh, well, I've now created a sublet virtual machine for the Commodore VIC-20, and I want to demonstrate its use here. Before I demonstrate the virtual machine in use, I just want to quickly recap the uh, sublet uh, instruction set. Well. It's only got one instruction, but as I say, the sublet stands for subtract and branch if less than equal to zero. So we can see it here, and it has three operands, and we only supply the operands because we don't need to su supply the opcode because the instruction is always sublet. So we just supply operands, A, B, or C. And then we take whatever's in location A in memory from whatever's in location B, and we store the result in the location in memory at B, and then if that if the result of that is less than or equal to zero, then we go to C. And that's it. That's all we have to work with. Uh, but we can build up from there, and if you look at the previous video about sublet, you can see how this is done. Here I've created a short program which uh, simply echoes input to output using sublet. Uh, but it demonstrates how to load a program in and, um, and we'll go through it here. So to start with, this is just a basic stub to make it easy to load the sublet program in. And this is for uh, an unexpanded VIC-20, hence the uh, load address at uh, 1001 hex. And then the first thing we need to do with sublet, uh, with this virtual machine in any case, is tell it where the memory is and we're going to make the memory the so same location as the program. Uh, here's the sublet code for the actual program. Uh, we could put it in a separate location and load the, memory, uh, load the program into that memory, but it makes sense to use the same location for both because, well, the, virtual, the, uh, the VIC-20 doesn't have very much memory, uh, so therefore it sort of makes it a bit more optimal. And, um, and then here we are we're including the actual virtual machine, sublet.a65, and then we start the virtual machine using a JSR SL underscore run. So it really is that simple. Uh, this is the program code. Uh, if, you've, um, if you know about sublet or you've seen the previous video, um, you can see that we're using minus one, minus one as the operands for A and B, which is simply uh, input and output and um, so we're just, at that point, we're just taking the input. When it's a negative number, we actually do a move rather than a subtract, which is just a little wrinkle in the um, in how uniform sublet is. But in any case, we take the input, send it to the output. The uh, three there is jumping to position three in the code, which is the second line. So that's this line here. So then we're going 660, well 66 is this address here, so it goes 1, sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, hence this 3 here, and then 3, 4, 5, 6. So the 66 just zeroes this location, and then if it's less than or equal to 0, which it always will be, because we're taking it from itself, then we jump to position zero. So it's an infinite loop of uh, taking input from, uh, from the keyboard and then outputting it to the display. So, uh, yeah, nice simple demonstration of how sublet works, or at least how the VM works, how it loads in the program. And now I want to go through the process of actually assembling some sublet code transferring it over to the VIC-20 uh, and then assembling it. This um, code, by the way, is using the XA assembler. I'll just quickly demonstrate this echo program being, uh, being run. Right, here we go then. So run that and it just echoes what's on the screen. Okay, not the most exciting thing in the, ever, in the world, but it's a good little demonstration to prove that it works. I now want to go through and demonstrate, as I say, the process of assembling and bringing the code into, uh, we're assembling twice really, because we're assembling in sublet 
and then we're assembling again using the XA assembler. But I'll show the process. Okay, so I've switched to a terminal now, and the program I want to demonstrate is a rock, paper, scissors game, uh, which is included. So this is a Splasm, uh, which, um, uh, which is uh, up on Git, Git, GitHub. It's a, uh, a sublet assembler that I wrote. And then in here we have a rock, paper, scissors game. Uh, so the first thing I need to do, we need to tell, because um, the Vic20 and Linux use different uh, new line characters, there's other bits and pieces that are different between the two machines, that um, we need to tell it what architecture to use. Uh, first of all, I'm going to quickly demonstrate it using Linux. So here we are, we're creating a symbolic link to a file called arch.inc.asq and it's using uh, arch underscore linux dot inc dot asq right we'll actually look at that file there we are so it contains just one macro and that's the new line character because as i say it's different between linux and if i look at the one for the vic20 uh, there we are a uh, new line character uh, 13 is the, uh, the decimal equivalent of the new line character on the V20. Um, oh, one other thing as well. Under Linux, I have not set a, a word size for the VM, so it, it's, um, it's arbitrary precision effectively. Uh, with the V20, I had to, uh, and I've set it at 16 bits for the word, uh, the word size. So that matters when it comes to uh, some of the calculations that can be done. Uh, right, so. I pointed that to the correct arch file and I'll demonstrate rock, paper, scissors here first. The reason I want to demonstrate it here first is that I want to show it running both on Linux and the VIC-20 so that you can see that it works on both. There we are. So the first line uh, created the rock, paper, scissors, sq file, and then I'm going to run that file. And there we are. Nice rock, paper, scissors game. Rock, paper, scissors, paper, paper. We get the idea. So I'll we'll quit that. And then the thing I really want to demonstrate is getting it onto the VIC-20. So I'm going to repoint or retarget. And now we're pointing to the correct example for the uh, the VIC-20, the correct architecture file for the VIC-20. And we'll have a look at the code for, um, for rock, paper, scissors. And here we are. So I'm only going to give a quick look through because I really want to concentrate on this uh, on the VIC-20 uh, virtual machine. But there's a couple of interesting things. You can see near the top there, we've got an if def uh, assembler directive, which is saying if def arch VIC-20, then uh, set up these ASCII prompts, or these ASCII strings. Uh, the reason that we're setting up dif different ASCII strings, depending on whether it's the VIC-20 or further down here, anything else, is that the VIC-20 only has a, 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 a narrow screen width and therefore, and it also uh, is, is easier if it's all in uppercase. So I've done different strings for the VIC-20 and in, in my case it would be Linux. So, uh, but this is the code for the, um, for the program. So it's fairly simple, it's using heavy use of macros which makes it more readable and more understandable, easy to debug, and uh, and there we have it. So, yeah, it's not too long a piece of code. And then if I now assemble that using the uh, Splasm assembler, 
and we're going to output that to rockpaperscissors.sq. Okay, and if we have a look at rock, paper, scissors, There you are. You can see it's uh, just a, a, a series of numbers and those numbers represent each position within memory, uh, within the, uh, sorry, each piece of code, with uh, each piece of sublet code. If I now switch over to VM, the VM code, There we are. Right, so uh, I can take that .sq file now and I can convert it to a series of word entries that I can then include into an A65 file for the XA assembler. Now to make this easier, I've created some skeleton files. So this is one for an 8K plus system, an expanded system. So it's same as the Echo one you would have seen before, that I showed before. And then right at the bottom, we have the prog label, and then below that, we append our sublet code. But it has to be in a dot .word format. So we'll take the dot .word format that we used. Now I'm going to indent the dot .word statements to make it a line neater within the uh, skeleton 8K file. So uh, there we are. And we'll do that to rock paper scissors dot words. Good. And if we look at that. A series of dot word statements which we can now easily append to our file. So, and then there we are. So we've created our rock.a65 file. Let's get that. And there it is. Now, oh, one slight wrinkle there at the end. I notice there's an extra Y, an extra. And now we can uh, assemble it. And that's it. Really, really simple. So now we've created a rock, paper, scissors game. We've created the PRG for it. And I'll show that running. In fact, before I do that, I just want to quickly show the uh, Sublec A65 code. Uh, so this is the Sublec virtual machine. Uh, so you can see it stores uh, things like uh, the A operand, B operand, C operand, the other things in uh, zero page. And then you can see the ports defined here, in and out. And then the SL run command, which actually starts the virtual machine. The code is fairly simple. Uh, the most difficult thing is just shifting between um, uh, handling the 16-bit operands and 16-bit uh, memory addresses. So there's a little bit of uh, repointing there. But uh, other than that, it's quite straightforward. Uh, not very long, and I think I think it works really well. Uh, so if I switch over to the VIC twenty, okay. So I put an eight K expansion into the VIC twenty now, so that we can demonstrate the rock paper scissors game. Uh, it, um, it's nice to be able to see the game running on Linux, and then the same game running on the Commodore VIC twenty. And here we have it. Slightly different display because of the narrower width of the screen on the VIC-20, but the game is essentially the same. So if I 
try rock and then uh, I get a draw I try scissors now there we are, see the computer guess paper so I beat the computer if I try rock and there we are, computer guessed scissors uh, so I win again and then the game goes through in the in the normal fashion. I press the wrong key there. The um, the number printing is a little bit slow, and you can see that uh, here. Uh, you can also see it on the um, uh, on a FizzBuzz program, which I might just load. So although here we are, we have FizzBuzz now. Although the um, Although the VM actually works relatively quickly for most things, it is quite slow uh, with this number printing function that I've created, and it's something I need to work on to make it a bit quicker. But, uh, but still, same code running on Linux, uh, same uh, on the Linux Sublet virtual machine or the Commodore VIC 20 virtual machine. It's easy to adapt through the Splasm assembler. So um, have a look at uh, our previous article and video about Sublet. Uh, have a look at the repo on this uh, on GitHub uh, to have a look at the uh, Sublec VM for the VIC-20 and um, yeah, have a, have a play with uh, Splasm, uh, see, what, uh, see what you can create. Uh, hopefully, uh, I think it's quite a nice little assembler and um, hopefully you will too. Uh, there's also more videos on the uh, Tech Tinkering YouTube channel about the VIC-20, about CPM and other retro and vintage computers. And uh, the same is true on the Tech Tinkering website. So uh, do subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see what I can show in the future.